Hello YouTube, this is Drew Hayes from Drew Hayes Productions coming at you with my first ever Blender tutorial. I'm going to be teaching you guys uh, how to render animations for Mac users specifically because um, there really isn't any tutorials on YouTube specifically for Mac users and that's what I'm using um, for those Windows users that may possibly be watching this video. Um, I'll still teach you how to render animations if you still don't know how to do that um, but specifically this is for Mac so let's get started. I have my finished scene. Everything's ready. All my keyframes, particles that I'm using, all that stuff is ready. Um, so like I said, if you want to figure out how, what I'm doing, this isn't, this isn't a tutorial for that. I'm doing a tutorial specifically on rendering animations. So I have everything, uh, everything set up. My uh, timeline is set at the first frame. Uh, you're going to want to make sure you have your resolution set to 1920 by 1080 if you want the full quality 100%. Uh, and you're going to want to set this to PNG because what we're going to do is we're going to render every single frame instead of rendering out specifically just as a MPEG or a video because there are a couple reasons why. Um, the first reason is that you can't really stop halfway through. If you have to use something or shut down your computer or if your blender crashed, the animation will be ruined if because you're halfway through a render. If you do it by images or by the separate frames, um, you can stop and start. Just make sure you know exactly which frame you started and stopped with. So uh, all this stuff is set. It should be ready. Uh, make sure you have your start and end frames set correctly. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to render animation. Let me click it. There we go. So it'll start rendering your frames out. Um, and I've already done this. So, uh, oh, another thing I didn't mention was make sure you have this set where all of your frames are going to be going. Um, just make sure, because these are all, there's going to be, especially with mine, there's 300 different frames. You're going to want to have your own folder for those frames. These are all the ones I've already, already done. So I'll just skip to that because there's nothing I can explain for that. All right, so once you have all of your frames rendered out and in that separate folder. You're going to go up here to this tab and you're going to select video editing. This is a great tool that I actually just learned about because I'm still kind of new to Blender. Um, and you're going to go to add image. What you're going to do is you're going to take all of these images and put them into that video editor. So just press A to select all and then add image strip. And as you can see shows my animation just like any other video editor um, I got my make sure these are set for however long your uh, animation is then you're gonna want to let's see oh this is already open uh, what I did it should probably it's gonna be in one of these so you're just gonna wanna click this icon right here when I think when I clicked it the first time it was down here it's this pretty much just go up here you are going to properties and it's gonna pull up this window here um, and this is where it's very important the Mac users are paying attention. You're going to want to change this from PNG to MPEG. And then from MPEG2, which is here down in encoding, I think this was closed, so you have to open it up. Select QuickTime and then MPEG4. And for Windows users, um, you can use pretty much AVI, QuickTime. You can use you can select AVI MPEG4 and then do exactly what I'm about to show you guys. So I'm just gonna switch it back to Mac. QuickTime, MPEG4, and then make sure this is set 1920, 1080, 100%, 24 frames per second. Your frames are all start and end, those are all right. Um, and what you're gonna do is you're just gonna press animation. And this is gonna be much quicker um, because it already has the frames, and all it has to do is combine them together. So as you can see, it's playing it. It's rendering them all together. Another thing I also forgot to say, because I just keep doing this, um, make sure you have a spot for this so it knows where to put them. Um, make a folder, do whatever. This is only going to be one file. It's not going to be a bunch of frames. This is the final video file. So um, have, a, have a folder or a place to put those, and you'll just click Accept, and it will save it to that spot. So my render is almost done. I have 300 frames, and there you go. It's done. So that will be saved to uh, 
wherever you specified in uh, that drop down menu right here. So uh, hopefully that helped you guys out, um, especially you Mac users who are having problems with rendering with Blender because all the AVI and the silly formats that Apple has. So hopefully that helped you helped you out, um, and thanks for watching.